If you've ever played a shooting game before, then you'll be intimately familiar with the concept of an assault rifle, a weapon designed to hose down the opposition in a torrent of lead. It's a weapon designed ubiquitous to most shooting games, so it is no surprise that it's a class of weaponry represented in Armor Jet's starting lineup with the Black Tusk. But how does such a basic and straightforward weapon design stand up in an arena full of railguns, rocket launchers, and r r r really powerful laser rifles? It's time for a Loadout Lowdown! Ahoy! Captain Bensie here, coming at you with another Loadout Lowdown in association with Fiery Tail's Armor Jet team. Knowledge is power in the arena, so this series aims to equip you with the tools you need to riddle your opponents with holes whilst keeping your own flight suit leak-free. Today we will be looking at the Black Tusk, likely the first trigger that your little newbie fingers will ever squeeze in the game. Don't let the fact that it's a starting weapon fool you though, the Black Tusk can be vicious in the hands of the right player, whether novice or notorious, and embodies the concept of the common rarity weapons perfectly. It's simple to use, and it's effective in almost any situation. Being simple to use doesn't mean that you're going to master this gun in moments though. Sure, you can load up a Black Tusk and rush face first at the enemy team. You might even score a kill or two before they send in a cleanup team to scrape pieces of you off the walls. No, like most weapons in Armor Jet, the Black Tusk does require some thought to make the most of, but that's what this series is here for. Fret not, I do the thinking so that you don't have to. Wouldn't want any of you to injure yourselves, you know? Though the damage of each individual shot is low, the Black Tusk makes up for this with a withering rate of fire, allowing you to quickly douse an opponent's health with a shower of white-hot lead. As its range and accuracy aren't anything special and it has a fairly small magazine size, you'll need to be reasonably close to make the best of this weapon. It can be tempting to just squeeze the trigger on the Black Tusk, spray and pray, but your team aren't going to thank you for this, as you're unlikely to hit anything. In fact, stupidity like this will leave yourself wide open to return fire when you inevitably have to reload, you moron. You should aim to swoop in quickly and hose your opponent down as fast as you can with close range firepower. Fortunately, the Black Tusk does have a decent enough mobility rating to keep you mobile and bouncing around the arena like a rabbit in heat. This means that you should be able to close the gap with your opponents and duck out of the way of any return firepower. This back and forth mobility and burst fire is what makes a good Black Tusk user so lethal. Take up dance lessons, get ready to tango, and learn to swoop in, rinse, and bounce back out of safety. Armed with a Black Tusk, you will need to close ground with your opponent quickly. Weapons like the Typhoon or Thunderstorm can do some insane damage to you as you approach. Wait for your target to reload, swoop in, and rinse and dry. There's nothing worse than beginning a Black Tusk charge, only to have it ended by someone inconsiderately blasting a Dominion through your skull, so make sure that these folks are otherwise engaged. On this note, see if you can use some of that limited brain power to memorize where the shield power-ups are on each map. As a Black Tusk user, you're going to need to stay close to an opponent, getting right up in their grill and entering their weapon range, so it's well worth your while to grab these shield pickups when you can. They'll help you keep your blood inside your body just that little bit longer. Also keep an eye on those magical red plus symbols as these are great for patching you up when you done goofed and got blasted. As long as you can hit the broadside of a barn from 100 paces, the Black Tusk is also a decent choice for the double damage power-up. I mean, there are better options, but there are also worse ones. With its rate of fire, a double damage Black Tusk can punch a frightening dent into the enemy team. Stick close to your teammates and use any opening your opponents give you to swoop in for the kill. The Black Tusk works well with a surprising variety of secondary weapons. Frag and cluster grenades can be thrown into crowds of opponents, and the Black Tusk's rapid fire can then take down anything injured. The Enforcer and the Marauder are great for snapping off and finishing an opponent arrogant enough to think they can escape, but mm, my personal preference here will always be the Widowblade. Sure, it's got a curved trajectory, but the ability to lob a knife between the eyes of anyone who thinks they can get away is super useful, and it's a much faster reload time too. This is a common loadout in competitions, and with good reason. Being a popular weapon means that you probably want to stand out from the crowd somewhat. Good thing then that the Black Tusk has several solid, unique skins for you to choose from. First up is the Coffee Break. 
This delicious looking black tusk references the old stereotype of American cops loving donuts. Though an unusual looking skin to say the least, I personally think it looks mouthwatering. The icing and sprinkles look super sticky and sweet, but even the brown doughy bit looks utterly delightful. Oh great, now I'm hungry. Grand Prix is a minimalistic skin paying homage to Formula One racing cars. The simplistic turquoise red and white colour scheme coupled with the carbon fibre finish to the black areas certainly makes for a striking skin that really looks like it belongs in the hands of a champion. Perfect for speeding around the arena. This vibrant coloured marvel is the soaked black tusk skin, and you'll get this on the Valor Road 3000 Valor currently. This takes me right back to the summer holidays of my childhood. The skin is, of course, a reference to the super soaker water guns that we used to use as kids. Fill up the tank, pump the handle for pressure, and run around the streets drenching each other in a water fight. Back then it was water soaking the streets, now it's blood soaking the arena. The virtual is the original legendary Black Tusk skin. The black silhouette with neon blue trim is a clear reference to the films Tron and Tron Legacy, which are set inside a computer game. The film is famous for the light cycle scene which is clearly referenced in the kill card artwork. Two of my favourite films and well worth your time to watch if you haven't already. The Black Heart is a seasonal skin that was available to pilots who logged in around Valentine's Day 2019. The pearlescent base coat and hot pink love hearts make this darling skin that extra bit insulting to kill someone with. Don't the marriage vows include till death do us part? Well I suppose this skin could be aiming to speed up that process. Also, Carrie Underwood once sang that Cupid's got a shotgun. Well, I guess he upgraded to a fully automatic assault rifle. Finally, my favourite Black Tusk skin, the Chroma. As many of you know, I play, record and edit my videos entirely on a Razer Phone 2, and the Chroma skin is an homage to the Razer Chroma RGB lighting effect used on most Razer products. You can get this skin instantly and completely free, as long as you have access to an Android device. Just install Razer Cortex and use Cortex to boot up Armorjet. Congrats, you now have one of the coolest looking skins in the game. If you're on iOS, you can borrow a friend's Android device or use a PC Android emulator to log into your Superbit ID on Armorjet, obviously still booting through Cortex, and you'll add the skin to your account. You're welcome. Well, that just about wraps things up for this Loadout Lowdown. If you found it useful, or at least mildly entertaining, let me know in the comments below and drop a like onto the videos, this really helps me out. Do consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell to know when new Armorjet content goes live. Happy sailing, and see you in the arena!